Kendrick, we keep hearing a lot of guys talking about ribbing Pat Farmer. Uh, you Say got it Ripping Pat Farmer, joking with her, teasing oh. Pat Farmer. If you got the first one in last week, did you know the uh, making the Illinois you know, jersey? Does he take that stuff pretty well? Uh, yeah, man. Nine overtimes later, I don't think he really has a choice. <laughs> so, yeah. Is, it, is that something that, that you know guys kind of jockey around in the, in the locker room or stuff? But even after the game on Sunday, you, you heard Cam take a shot, a little poke and poke at him. Ben did again today, like. Is he just that kind of guy that, that, that draws it? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Pat's a good dude. You know, uh, I like joking with Pat, but I don't think uh, no one's subject to uh, to not get poked at. You know what I mean? So I think that's what a fun thing about the NFL that I've noticed every week. You know, guys are chirping about their team, their their college team versus somebody else's college team. So, but Pat, good sport, and uh, he didn't wear the shirt as long as I wanted him to, but. You know, I'll take what I can get. Was it nine overtimes worth? Nine overtime. Nah, it was not nine overtimes worth. He should have worked for damn near nine days. <laughs> Kendrick, uh, ben, ben was telling us how he said there's, there's not one person who leads the offensive line right now. It's more of like a, everyone's kind of stepping up together. What's that like for you in your rookie season? Just kind of working with your teammates and just depending on each other this much to make the kind of progress that you have. Um, you know, it's just we kind of all take this like, like yeah, Ben's absolutely right with that. We all take the same approach every day. We come out here, we put our put our cleats on, and we get to it. You know, and uh, it's something our coaches, Coach Clem, Coach uh, Coach Chris Morgan, you know, our assistant offensive line coach, Coach Canada, Coach Tomlin. You know, they they harp on us about it. And, you know, that's, that's what we you know it's our job. That's how we look at it. Uh, you know, come out here and get better each and every week. And we you know we're not where we want to be yet, but we're gonna keep working. I feel like you guys have gotten a little more mean, or like, like what, what, is, what has helped you guys get off the ball a little more in the past, the past few weeks? You guys are pushing the guys further and further down the field. Uh, what's the tra word Trey uses? Continuity. So, uh, you know, as we, uh, we kind of, I feel like we're starting to, you know, get together a little bit. Like I said, we're still not where we're at, where we want to be chemistry wise, but, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're getting uh, better and better each and every week. So, is that show improvement? But Beyond that, can you guys feel an improvement? Do you kind of know that you're at a better spot than you were 24 weeks ago? Uh, I would say, you know, just a little bit, yeah. But you know, like I said again, like we're not, we're not content yet. So it's not like we're, you know, we're we're easing off the gas pedal at all. You know, we want to keep making jumps each and every week. We want to be a team that can run the ball uh, just as well as we throw the ball, right? So, um, but I, I would definitely say that, you know, we we do kind of see. You know the, the progress coming to life, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep pushing it. So, how's that uh, relationship between the whole offensive line grown off the field? How, how has that relationship grown in the locker room and stuff like that? Uh, you know, I think it's really good. You know, we usually get up together, hang out on Thursdays uh, over at Zach Manner's house, um, just chill, kick it. You know, a lot of other guys from other positions come over. It's just a good time. Uh, I feel like you know we kind of just really get to know each other a little bit more on a personal level as well. So absolutely, is communication the key component to? How you guys are yelling right now? Offensive line? Uh, I, mean, I think that's part of it, you know, and another part of it's a feel thing, you know. Um, you can talk about playing football as much as you want, but until you play it, you know, you really don't know. So uh, I definitely say that, um, that, like, I think it's a mixture of both the combination of two, getting out here and doing it together, game reps, and then also, you know, communication and talking about things we see in film, all type of things. It, it's all it's all one big collective. You said there's still room for improvement, but. Um... Right now, do you, do you, are you surprised with with how fast the cohesion has been? How fast uh, you guys have gotten on the same page together? Um, you know, I feel like uh, can, training camp started in July, so it don't feel like it's that fast to me. But you know, and we're like I said again, we're still not where we want to be, right? But um, you know, I, I do I do appreciate how far we've came, and, but you know, we still got a lot more to go. You're yeah. starting to see teams attack you a little bit differently now that you've started to run the ball a little more effectively. Um, I wouldn't say that. I would. I would say I think uh, maybe you know teams are a little bit more you know respective of the run game though. But you know we'll keep it. You know I just go to do my job and you know let let the coaches handle their handle that part of it. So it's cutting down on the penalties kind of the next step in the component here. You got to get better. Yeah, absolutely. Like for me personally, uh, I think I had two last week. That's two too many, obviously. Um, and uh, you know I just want to we're gonna get out here. I'm sure we're about to go to meetings. I'll hear about it a little bit in there. So. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely, something needs to be needs to be harped on a little bit harder in my game. You talked about uh, cohesion and stuff that you guys doing. Zach Banner's health. What was the hockey game like for you guys all? 
showing up in New Jersey's and hanging out together. It was dope, man. It was a good time. Uh, we, you know, we got together, got out to PPG, and um, it was dope, man. Going, I've never been that close to the ice either, so that was new. But, uh, but yeah, just you know, linking up, hanging up, uh, hanging out, and, and kicking it. You know what I mean? So I think, I think that definitely helps us. How do you feel you've uh, grown in terms of uh, with your quarterback, with Ben, especially with snaps? Uh, I feel like you know, the more reps we get together, the more comfortable. Uh, I not only will I be with him, but he'll be with me, which I think is more important. Um, you know what I mean? And uh, just kind of getting a feel for what he wants and what he understands. You know, I'm learning new things from him each and every week. He, uh, he teaches me like he teaches me a lot. He's like another coach. You know what I mean? That's how I kind of look at it. So definitely, definitely appreciate Ben. He was telling us last week that uh, you know, you're locked right next to his, and mm-hmm. he was, yeah. uh, I guess, talking about your new tattoo. And, yeah. And, and stuff. What did he? Uh, what did he say? Did he like it? Uh, he's like, he's like, get a freaking tattoo in the middle of the season or something like that. But uh, but yeah. He's like, he like noticed on my arms. Like you got a new tattoo. I'm like yeah. He's like in the bye week. He's like right, like shaking it like you rookie. Like you know, he's like, <laughs> kind of like that. It was pretty funny though. So, is, yeah. is that one of those like pinch yourself moments when you're having that conversation with Ben Roethlisberger in week eight of your rookie year and you're starting in front of him or anything like that? I think I'm kind of over that hump now. But at first, man, I'm like, <laughs> dang, this is crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, but no, absolutely. It's still it's still surreal. Like I think you know he's playing Madden when I was in second grade and third grade. He was always the quarterback for the Steelers, you know what I mean? And now I'm snapping the ball to him, so it's pretty pretty dope. You could run with him a little bit, though, right, back on the game more than you could do now. Uh, he was, he was, I think he, he did have a little bit more a little bit more speed to him back then, but, you know, I, I still we appreciate what he did now. I wish I didn't get that holding call on that, uh, on that play this weekend, you know, maybe able to, yeah. be able to count it for something. But, yeah. for that one? Or? <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about it not too long. He gave me a little, a little bit of stuff for it, but, yeah. Does it make the growth process easier and more comfortable when you have a hands-on quarterback like Ben? Uh, absolutely, um, but you know, I wouldn't take it for for it being easier. He's just, you know, he's very good at explaining what he wants and you know how things should be done. And you know, that's how we're, that's how I'm gonna do things. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's like another coach, man. I appreciate him. Year, especially having that kind of an impact in a, in a big mm-hmm. divisional game in October. Yeah, um, you know, when I first got drafted, I didn't know. Uh, what my playing time would be, what my role would be. Um, I just kind of came in open-minded, whatever got thrown at me, um, I was going to pre- uh, be prepared for it. So, uh, you know, having these snaps, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy I, you know, get those. Um, and, I mean, coming into it, I didn't expect, you know, to, uh, to have a role like this, but, um, you know, I'm going to try to make the most of it. All the injuries, I mean, to it, Tyson, Carlos, I mean, did- is there part of you that thought maybe they would go out and, and make a move to bring in somebody more experienced for mm-hmm. the D-line? Or? Um, you know, I never really thought about it um, personally because, uh, you know, I, I don't really need, you know, kind of any outside things, uh, you know, bringing me down at all. So in my head, you know, whatever was going to happen was going to happen. Uh, whatever role I got, I was going to get, I was going to make the most of. And luckily, you know, everyone's kind of been trusting me a little bit. Um, to go out there, make some plays, and uh, step in for those guys who can't be out there. So at 4 o'clock yesterday, there was no sigh of relief. Like, OK, they're rolling with us. The guys mm-hmm. who are here are the ones that are taken. Uh, not for me, no. Um, you know, it, it was a pretty big day. Um, you know, different parts moving and stuff like that. But I knew whatever happened, um, I'm going to be happy, and I'm going to make the most of whatever role I had. So uh, you know, of course, my role is kind of going to stay the same now, uh, which I'm pretty happy about. What's it like to have Cam in your room? Is he like mm-hmm. um, I think, you know, for me, and I know for the rest of the younger guys too, it's it's huge having Cam in there. Um, kind of our mentor, leader. Uh, he's he's definitely someone we can watch during practice, during games, and kind of see how he he attacks those kind of situations. And then also, you know, his his knowledge of the game is incredible. So um, he'll he'll help me out with just the littlest things, sometimes big things. Um, and, you know, anytime he tells me something, I take it to heart because he's, he, I mean, he's an incredible player. So, uh, you know, having him in the room has definitely helped me a ton. How would you describe his role? Is he kind of like an older brother, a dad, crazy uncle? I mean, mm-hmm. what, what is he like in this in this room? Or for you? Shoot, you can throw a crazy uncle in there a little <laughs> bit. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, I would say he's, he, he, he's just a leader to me. Um, and then, I mean, I'm, I'm just happy I can be on the same team as him and learn from him. But uh, Can you tell he's a guy with younger brothers and kind of grew yeah. up in that? Oh, yeah. 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 Because, yeah. Cause he, I mean, he, he's he's serious when he needs to be. But um, you guys know Cam. He, he's 
a big goofball. So uh, he, um, when it's kind of time to relax a little bit, you can definitely see him doing that. Can you think of something that you could kind of relate to us, one of those in-game adjustments or something he's told you that's helped out? Mm. Uh, I mean, I can't really think of anything specific, but there are times, you know, um, I'll see something new, whether it's like a guard jump set me, a, you know, a different type of set, I'll ask him about it because, you know, he, he's been in le the league long enough that he's seen pretty much everything and he can adjust to pretty much everything. So um, just little things like that. So let's say like a guard is jump setting me, doing something a little different. I'll ask him what he thinks I should do in this situation, what he does in that, in, in that kind of situation. And, you know, I, I kind of try to bring that into my game. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, um, they want to run the ball at me, try it. Um, you know, I, I, I put in as much work as I can that uh, I'm confident enough to know, um, you know, you run the ball at me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop it. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I've become more confident with that as, as the season's gone along because, uh, you know, being a rookie, they might target me a little bit more. But, you know, that's just growth. Did you talk much about uh, Monday Night Football? Uh, haven't gotten into it a whole lot, whole lot yet. I'm you just watch it growing up. Or, uh... hmm? I mean, I, I watched pretty much every game that was on growing up. There was never really a time, uh, you know, Sunday, Thursday, Monday. I mean, I was always, always sitting down watching. You're a national TV star Monday night. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for Monday. Uh, my my first Monday night game uh, should be fun. So I'm, I'm I'm definitely pumped for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I faced him, faced him a couple times. One time in the uh, Big Ten Championship. So, um, I've I've seen him a couple times. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that's my thought with pretty much, uh, pretty much any time I'm in there. But uh, I think in college I got a couple a couple hits on him. So we'll see if we'll uh, get back there again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much rivalry between the guys in the uh, in the locker room. In that case, you know, we all joke around with each other. You know, come game days, we'll put different different bets and stuff like that. But uh, you know, when it comes to like rivalries, we're, I mean, we're all just brothers here, so we just have fun with each other. Anything else? All right. Awesome. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Good. Good.